Well, here we are on question number 18, which is sort of a geometry type word problem. And I think if I look up above me, I think we have some Martians following us. So hopefully I'll teach them a thing or two also. All right, so here we go. We have some information given about a triangle. So let's look at that information put in a diagram. Come on, Martians, you can see how to do this too. The people of Earth will help you learn how to do math. So be nice. All right. So we have a triangle. Now, people, I don't have any idea how to actually draw this triangle to scale because it doesn't tell me. I mean, I would have to already know the answers before I could even proceed with the drawing. So basically, it tells me I have three interior angles represented by measure x, measure 2x, and measure x minus 20. Now, whether or not I have this to scale, I don't have a clue. But I'm really just using this diagram to help me set up the equation. Now, here's something you need to know about a triangle. Any triangle you draw obviously has three interior angles, each of which is it's measured in degrees. One very important fact from geometry. The three measures of, of the interior angles of any triangle always add up to 180 degrees. So if I take x and I add it to 2x and I add that to x minus 20, I'm going to get 180. This is true for any triangle. Very important fact to know, to work this problem especially. So now we're going to collect like terms. Let's see, I have 1, 2, I have 4x minus 20 is equal to 180. Very simple equation. Add 20 to both sides of the equation to get 4x is equal to 200. And divide both sides of the equation by 4, which gives me x is 50. Now, a, a very important thing that you need to remember Answer the question. The question says, find the measures of all three interior angles. Well, let's take the data we have. X is 50. If I go back to my picture, this X would represent a 50 degree angle. 2 times X would represent a 100 degree angle, one, you know, 2 times 50 to give us 100. And then 50 minus 20 would represent a 30 degree angle. Always make sure in any kind of a story problem, in mathematics, in any of the sciences, give the final answer. Don't just stop with what x equals because that may not be the final answer. And notice a quick check to this problem. 100 plus 50 plus 30 does add up to 180. So chances are we did the problem correctly. And in this case, we did. So Martians, go back home. And I hope you now know how to work with triangles.